I just found out that apple orchards have been here longer than the ski industry has. Casey Thompson from the Cheese Gallery, because what goes better with apples than cheese, joins us. And we're going to talk about the Apple Pie Trail. I'm all in for this. Oh, well, it's a <laughs> fabulous thing because we are actually Ontario's largest apple growing area in the province. I had no idea. So yeah. it's, it's kind of all around the Collingwood area here. So it, yeah, if you go out past the mountain, over the mountain, you'll get into Beaver Valley. The orchards are there. They're into Thornbury. They're into Meaford. They're down towards Singham. They're all surrounding us. And you don't necessarily know unless you drive the back roads and find the all the apples in the spring it's beautiful okay so hence the apple pie trail now yes. is this is this a trail that's like a year-round thing or is it is there a festival so this is a trail that was started 13 years ago um, i was one of the founding members which is exciting there are 28 different stops and so the idea is that people can come here and go and tour and experience apples so you might go to a winery and have an apple cider okay you might go to a bakery and have an apple pie you could go to a restaurant and have a beautiful apple salad you might come to a shop like mine uh, and buy apple smoked cheese or have a, you know a non-alcoholic cider so the idea is, is it's cafes wineries restaurants and then to make it even better they incorporated some activities so you can go and do a paddle down the beaver river and have a cider and visit so yeah, it's it's really an experiential thing, and yes, it is year round. And it's all about promoting agriculture, right? Because totally, it's you, our history. You think about how many how many jobs in this area are yeah. probably related to all the orchards. Yeah, yeah. We actually did a big event called the Long Table, which was done in an orchard, 250 people at a table, celebrating apple season. It was right at harvest time. People were fascinated to walk with the farmers and learn about the apples. You know, farmers feed feed our city they do our people <laughs> but people don't necessarily know all where our food comes from so it, it's amazing to have that interaction with farmers and they're really willing to share and there's some very unique practices here in the apple industry that are the envy of the world right and because the producers here they're producing apples that are known around the world around the world saying. yes yeah so, so what do we have here what what uh, variety of apple is this this looks like a honey crisp uh, okay. Or it could be a pizzazz. There's a new one called a pizzazz, mm -hmm. and it's my new favorite. But honey crisps are absolutely fantastic. We have, in fact, if you look at our apple pie trail guide, which people can pick up at any of the locations, uh, it tells you all about the apples, what the varieties are, how you would use them. And so it's this whole apple education. So, yes, we have some apples from a local grower, and then we have our ciders. <clears throat> so this is representing about six small businesses, this table in itself. Um, because Spy Cidery does a lot of organic, and they're on a, a big acreage right behind Thornbury, which is 12 minutes that way. Okay. Okay. Uh, our Deal Cider, they have been apple farmers for generations and generations, and they got into ciders and, and doing the grapes and, you know, having snowshoeing on their tour, on their property, so you could tour. So that's kind of cool. And then we have our apple pie from Thornberry Bakery, which has also been in business for 100 plus years. Okay. Passed down family to family, and they make great apple pies. Like, people love the Thornberry apple pie. I'm hoping we're digging into this. Yes, we can dig into that. <laughs> and then I've got a little piece of cheese for you because I do the cheese gallery. Can I have some? You please? absolutely can. <laughs> so, what we brought today is actually um, an apple smoked cheddar. So, it's a two year cheddar that's been okay, aged, and then they smoke it for six hours in apple wood and so you get this incredible flavor and of course there's a little apple there if you want to have a mm. bite but <clears throat> so a little bite of apple a little bite of apple a little bite of cheese. cheese apple cheese oh so good so good yeah it, you know when you buy fresh apples you go to the orchards you buy fresh apples you're just like, wow, that that taste is amazing. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. and you will never buy apples that don't say produced in Ontario. No, I right? will not. After, <laughs> after that, after that, like after you try local apples, yeah. you know how good they are. They are. And I live here, so we eat apples all the time and they're amazing for you. Do you have a favorite variety? I, I'm loving the new pizzazz, I have to say. Pizzazz. I was a Mac girl my that. whole life and then Honey Chris came along. The thing about living up here is you try all these different apples and you're like, Wow, that, that's completely different completely than what different. I just tasted. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like the world of wine or the world of cheese. Yes. Everything has different flavors and varieties and t depends on where it's grown. And, you know, are, is it in a valley in this area? Because they can grow different apples because they'll get warm weather coming versus the apples that are higher up. It's cold weather. So it's, it's very, You are the perfect complement to this with the cheese oh. gallery. So thank you, Casey. Oh. And to learn uh, more about the apple pie trail, which I'm happily going to be on, <laughs> check out our website, chch.com. Thank you.